What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching understands what we're saying. Man, besides the projectile that hit our ass devs, look at Johnny Cage and said, let's just give him everything. He's got insane overheads. He's got insane combo potential, a quick dash, and just look at this drip. Dude, my guy is iced up. Johnny Cage basically has everything that you might want in the character, but let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butter, including his normals and specials, starting off with his overheads, and he's got some great options. Johnny Cage has a one, two, four string. As you see there, it's an overhead and a pop-up, allowing you to continue the combo by dashing forward and doing some more. In fact, you can do that almost three times in a row by dashing. He's got forward four. That's an overhead. And again, you can dash to continue the combo. And it's got a pretty decent range on it too. He's got two one two. It's an overhead and a pop-up as well. And that one is such a big pop-up. You can jump and do air combos from it. Speaking of air combos, Johnny Cage has two main combo routes to go for. In the air, he's got one, two, four, and two, four, four. He doesn't have any air specials to continue those combos. So you might be using a cameo for that. But I found it most effective to jump and hit two. You land before your opponent does, and then you can continue the combo. So we're gonna do two, one, two, get him in the air, jump two, land, then four, one, two. You can just see the crazy potential that he has already. When it comes to our lows, we have four to one, two, four. That's an overhead. But we also have four to one, two, three. Now that low is not necessarily cancelable. You can't really get much off of it, but it is a good low to throw in there and just throw your opponent off guard. He does have, of course, down three, and that is nice because it's a low, decent range, and can cancel into specials. With his special moves, he's got a couple great ones. I, I, honestly, in my opinion, one of his best ones is his back forward to four. The, the shadow kick is just so quick and covers most of the screen. It's not quite full screen, but from full screen, you take one step forward and then it is. So crazy range. And it's just a great way to end a combo. You have down back three for an uppercut. And that does put you in the air for air combos if you enhance it. Of course, the nutcracker is back, back down one. And that can also be great for combos. He's got down back one, and that is a parry that parries highs and mids. And here's what it looks like. So kind of switch sides with you and your opponent, get away from them, then decide how do you want to pressure them from there. So with that, it's also not a bad wake up option. Your opponent might think you're gonna do a move or a block and then psych you do a parry, but your best wake up option is your shadow kick, your back forward four. Because if you enhance it, you get armor. And then here's how that looks. You also might consider your nutcracker your back down one for a wake up attack as well. And here's how that looks. Now, as we're talking about special moves, you're gonna notice here the star meter in the bottom left corner. And what does that do, one step? That builds up hype. What is hype? Well, once we get our hype meter all the way full, you can do four down back four, and that enters you in the hype state. And now when we're in this state, what we can do is we can link together, we can cancel our specials into other specials that aren't normally cancelable. Meaning you can do nut punch, nut punch, nut punch, shadow kick, whereas normally you can't do that. Here's how that looks. Let's enter our hype state, nut punch, nut punch, bat shadow kick that don't normally link together, but with our hype meter in our hype state, we definitely can. And you can already picture the insane combo potential that when in hype state, it gives you. Now there are multiple ways to get your hype meter up. Their first one is just doing forward down back four. And that might be a great option to do after a hard knockdown from a combo. So our opponent is kind of away from us. Then we can do our forward down back four, get our high pretty high, and then rush in. Other ways to give you hype meter is you can press the stance button after a certain special move. It extends the special move in kind of an animation and during the animation you gain hype. So for an example, here's our shadow kick. Let's do our shadow kick, then press stance. You see the animation, you saw our hype meter go up. So if you're ever gonna end a combo with a special move like that, I recommend doing the stance. Nut Punch has a hype meter move as well. So you press stance with your Nut Punch input. You don't actually do the Nut Punch, but that can be a great way to throw your opponent off guard. If they're gonna think you're gonna do a Nut Punch, they block it, psych you get hype meter, and then just put the pressure back on. Your down back three also has it. 
Basically, the biggest strategy you want to keep in mind when playing Johnny Cage, not only are you an aggressive fighter, but you're a hyped up fighter as well. And you want to get that hype up as fast as possible, as much as possible, because then you're just going to be an absolute monster. I'm not going to lie, using the hype meter is going to take some practice and maybe a few hours in the lab to really get the hang of and master your hype meter combos. But man, is it going to be worth it. Cameos that stun your opponent might be a great fit for Johnny Cage, allowing you the chance to build up your hype meter and then continue the pressure. Also, side note about your shadow dash, you're down forward three. If you enhance that, you're actually projectile and vulnerable. It's also a great way to cross up your opponent. You got to keep them on their toes, you know? A side note about your fatal blow. You can hold it down and dance around. This is a parry. And here's how that looks. Though you can use Johnny Cage's Fatal Blow in some certain combos, you're going to be using the most as a parry. And a fun thing that's really never going to be that useful is if you do the full dance, it's like five or six seconds, then your Fatal Blow all becomes unblockable. And here's what I mean. We're going to dance around, dance around. This is so long, but then your Fatal Blow is unblockable. So again, not really practical, but a fun side note for Johnny Cage. Pretty straightforward and to the point, Johnny Cage is an absolute menace on the field, and he offers so much when it comes to combos, damage, and just a fun time to play. But to help you get started, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Guys, let me know what you think of Johnny Cage down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.